Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. It is time for what we call it? Tr terrific Thursday? Tremendous Thursday? Who knows? Um, we are now on my Thursday project. So every Thursday whip and waffle tends to be a bigger painting of some sort so or more of a challenge uh, but we don't have a day of the week with the letter C. Uh, so this painting is 192 colours. It is my current Thursday project. Uh, I do work on it um, and sort of speed up on it a little bit when I am in between paintings. Um, Last week, I was hoping to get some more of this done. So last week, we uncovered this sort of big section. I got to finish this off, and then I haven't diamond painted for a full week. So because of that, even though I, sa I said I wasn't going to work on Koala until Tuesday, um, the day the video went up with me kitting him up, which is my ongoing painting, um, I actually haven't diamond painted at all up until Saturday on any painting. So I actually started my koala on my last, on Sunday's Whip and Waffle. Um, and yeah, we are up to where we are up to. That is the way life happens sometimes. Oh, in fact, oh, okay. So I did try to sit down and diamond paint, as you can tell here. Um, I did start some, but then I got pulled away and didn't get to finish. So let's go for there, maybe. I might move it. We'll see how the whip and waffle goes, because I will do this sort of section first. But then when I hit into these purples, we'll see how much time has passed as to whether I can uncover more or not. Um... But yeah, I haven't been able to diamond paint much at all. I say I was hoping to be a couple more sections over on this. So we had that extra little bit of a push on progress in between. Uh, but it doesn't always work that way. So let me pull up the tray. So I have three of these, well, two and a half of these. Uh, they are currently out of their case because, say, I haven't been able to diamond paint. So this one has just been sat waiting, waiting for me to hopefully diamond paint. Uh, but I have started my koala now. So Kenny the koala will be my through the week ongoing painting. Uh, once he's finished, I will do a little bit more on this one while he's being kitted down and my next one is being kitted up. But until then, this is what we have. And I've just realised that that diamond that I put in has got a knob on the end and it's pushed all the other diamonds over. So let's remove that one. It's where the angled tweezers are amazing. Let's also turn on my light pad because that does make it easier to see these symbols even when I've got good lighting above. I need to also zoom you in. Has that gone off for it? No. Uh, let me zoom you guys in the right way. I should know this camera by now but we are on the far end, okay, that's as far over as I can go without hitting stuff on the other side of the desk. Have I got all of those? The light in my light pad, every now and then it flickers. <clears throat> okay, we're done. Which tub am I on? So in these sort of two and a half, I have one here that is primarily sort of keyboard symbols, anything to do with circles and squares. Then I have letters, arrows and triangles, and then I have flowers and diamonds. So I do like to see if I've got any more 
that is potentially in this tray. I'm not looking at this bit over here. I'm looking at this bit over here um, before I decide to switch what trays I've got. So actually I have quite a lot up here. So that's sort of the way I've found has been the easiest way for me to work on this painting is to sort of go by tray but then when it gets too complicated or when something's jumping out at me that needs doing, I may switch my trays a couple of times within it. But I try not to switch from tray to tray to tray constantly. It's a little bit easier to try and do the bulk of the ones that I can see in the tray. It just saves me moving my trays about often to make it the closest one to me. But yeah, I hope everybody has had an amazing week. Uh, progress on this will slow down, say for a little bit. Uh, we'll still do a section each whip and waffle on a Thursday uh, for a couple of weeks. But then once Kenny's finished, um, I'll work on this again through the week. And provided I actually have a week where I can get diamond painting done, we should be able to make a little bit more of a forward leap in it every now and then. Uh, but I will keep doing this one with you guys on a Thursday until it's completed. But I'll actually be rolling it back up after this whip and waffle until next week's whip and waffle. So another reason I was kind of hoping to be done, because I've actually put three rows of cover paper uh, on here. For some reason I've managed to end up with two packs of the Rainbow Star in my craft room. I normally just have one pack of cover paper um, for each design and that works for me. I pick a different one for each painting. Um, but I think because I kitted this one up before I brought in all of the cover papers from um, the shop so that I had one of each in here. Um, I forgot that this cover paper was already on this painting so I've just ended up bringing in one. So I've ended up with two. So because of that I did do three rows of cover paper the last time I needed to cut down um, my top plastic strip thinking I would get most of the row done before um, before it'd have to be rolled up again. Ideally, I prefer to only have two sheets on when I roll it up, um, though three will still work. It'll still roll up fine. Okay, I have a couple of squares there, but I think I just have the two of, oh no, I have more than two. There's some down here as well. So I'll tip them in. Because if I've just spotted a couple offhand, I'll probably end up spotting a couple more, maybe, if I'm not blind. We shall see. Oh, I've also got that two circles one as well. The star one, I think, is in my other tray. It's one of those borderline symbols. And I know this symbol here with two, it's actually two diamonds together. This one's two dots, this one's two diamonds. Uh, and the diamonds one is definitely in my other tray. <coughs> okay, I think I've got all those. I've probably not, but we're going with it. Let's go with the dots and see what questions or comments we have for this week. Uh, Grey Legrand says she pit, ho, pit, hit pause at 18.48. She says, Rebecca, there's one more half triangle <laughs> up near the top. She says, oh, now she sees two of the half triangles. <laughs> she says, uh, she's guessing the symbols are easier to see, which are more prominent on camera. Yes, they probably are. I think you can also get a bit of sort of diamond blindness, blindness to a certain extent when you are working on something 
uh, I often think that your eyes can sort of miss ones that are prominently in your face or maybe it's because they're tucked up around other diamonds that you've put on the canvas. Um, I think that's why we all end up missing ones, especially when we're like, how on earth did I miss that? I checked over the canvas X amount of times. Like even now, I looked on this canvas for anything that was in this tray. And I think my eyes have focused on certain symbols and not others because I've just spotted another symbol right here, big wad of it, that is in this tray. So there are, I think you do definitely get a little bit of blindness to what you're looking at. Um, and you can very much miss symbols, even symbols that are extremely prominent. Just because your eyes seem to glaze over that section, even if you look over it five times, it glazes over that symbol five times. Um, and it's definitely true on such a, a busy canvas as this, especially when it gets to this part where it's very much confetti all over the place. Um, it's very, very easy to miss them, and I often do. Um, so I just resign myself to the fact that I am going to often miss ones on this canvas, and if need be, I will catch them again later. Um, and probably catch them with other ones that I've missed um, around the same time. Sometimes I'm very good at waiting. Other times I'm like, no, I've seen it now. I'm going to just tip some diamonds into the lid of the pot and fill them up. Because that's what will make me happy. So I just do it. Um, and get it filled in and move on as though I never made the mistake in the first place. Oh. Only I know sometimes. Um, Grey Legrand, she says, so she never did pull the trigger on her Diamond Art Studio UK order. Uh, she says the coupon code didn't offset the shipping enough. Uh, and it's not a have it now thing, she said. Um, they will always restock, so you do have that um, reassurance. Provided there is a demand, Diamond Art Studio will always keep restocking um, their diamond painting designs. Um, she says, not to mention, she got a Diamond Art Club delivery yesterday. Um, plus, she's going to place her Add More Zest order. Uh, she's trying to focus on one large diamond painting at a time. Um, as she's the queen of whips. <laughs> Do you have multiple ones on the go? Sometimes it does get a little bit crazy when you have too many. And all of a sudden you're like, why am I not able to focus? And it's just because you've got too many projects on the go and you just need to tone it down to one. Um, that's that's why I think I still, I'm quite good at classing this as a Thursday project and not thinking about it when I'm working on another painting. Um, just because of the nature of the YouTube channel. But I think if it wasn't for the YouTube channel and the focus on a big project or not, um, I think I would potentially, I think I'm at the point after having quite a few on the go where I need to go, no, tone it down, go simple for a while. Get your nice calm, even keel back and go from there. Right, I think I've got all of those. Not seeing any others that jump out at me, though I have probably missed some. Oh, do I have hashtag in here? I do have hashtag in here. It's more this line here that I'm missing. But I do have a few of these hashtags that's not quite hitting purple, so they're not likely to be repeated if I decide to uncover more. 
but I want to sort of see how long it takes me and how much of the video it takes me to get to this roof line before I decide if it is worth uncovering more. Okay, let me grab my letters and symbols and then I'm going to go straight for this one at the bottom and work my way up. Um, Jen, she says, sorry, lots of comments today. She said she has been catching up with on videos um, on Diamonds and Washies channel. And then she said she found a playlist on cross stitch conversion. She says on the play in the playlist, she said she came across um a review Katie did on the Ever Moment blank canvas. She said she thought it might be of use to me. Thank you. That is something I say. Somebody has posted since uh, in the group a picture of their Ever Moment blank canvas. So I am quite assured that the lines are not as dark as they potentially could be. Um, I am also thinking of getting a few different blank canvas poured glue ones before I start my heaven and earth design again uh, when this project's finished and then I can have a few different examples of ones that may work um, for my heaven and earth design um, and yeah just to show you guys the difference between them all and at least then I'll have them as well if I do find I'm struggling with one um, I will have one straight away to use. I'll sort of do it. Which one should I pick? <laughs> Type thing. Uh, Janita says, hi, Rebecca. She says she would be lost without her light pad. She says it was a lifesaver. There are definitely some canvases more than others um, that a light pad is really, really helpful. Very much so when it's confetti, I think. They do definitely make the symbols clearer. Um, no matter, really, apart from really old Dreamer Design canvases that I struggled with, um, apart from those, I do find that a light pad does help to clarify the symbols. Quite often when I've got my overhead filming lights on, um, I don't need them on most canvases. There is just the odd one that it is, it does make things that little bit better. Um, and this one is definitely it. Probably because there are just so many, so many conflicting symbols that actually having that extra bit of lightness to help me to see them makes things so much clearer. Right, I think I've got all of those. Let's hope. I've done a scan. I'm trying not to look too much because I'm, I'm likely to have missed some anyway. So rather than spending my time looking, I'm gonna spend my time going back and getting them instead. That's my thought. Okay, are asterisk on this one? They're not. Are they on this other one? Oh, they are. Asterisk are on this first tray and I completely missed them. So I have gone back to the first tray, but I do have more space on my desk to have a couple of trays on the go on here. So I can get away with it when I'm doing it this way. Um, I can get away with it a little bit when I'm doing it on my drafting table but not quite as much, depending on which side of the canvas I'm working on, depends on how close I am to multiple trays of diamonds. But I obviously overlooked it, because I did look for it, I did think it would be on that tray, because I class it as a keyboard symbol, the asterisk, but I couldn't see it for looking. And it has been over a week since I worked on this canvas, so, the familiarity of the symbols has gone just a little bit because I haven't been working on it on a daily or every other day kind of basis. Right, let's put that back now and go back to where we were. 
back on the original tray. <coughs> Uh, Bobby says, hello, Rebecca and everyone else. Uh, sorry, let me just find the one I want. She says she thinks she may have gotten herself into a pickle. Uh, her kids were here this last weekend uh, and she showed them the paintings that she's completed. Um, so now they're all looking for ones that they want her to do for them. Oh, are they now? <laughs> she says her son has already found about 15 that he wants. Uh, and she's lost track of the ones her eldest granddaughter wants. <laughs> she says uh, she doesn't know if she's ever going to get ones to do for herself ever again <laughs> she says quick question she says what would you recommend an 11 year old girl starts with if she wants to start diamond painting um to be honest for any sort of younger age younger kids um who like to diamond paint i would go with either and this would depend on whether they want a painting that they can frame or whether they you know just want to have to give diamond painting a go um if they're wanting to frame something and they're really keen on framing something a picture then i would find a special diamond painting um, not because it's done with rhinestones because of sparkle or anything like that but because there is less diamonds to place uh, and as much as kids are very good at focusing on things they enjoy um, over the course of time um, they are also they need the gratification of, of having something completed and time to them isn't as long as time may be to us um, but if they just want to give it a go and, and really you know aren't saying I want to do this specific thing or that specific thing um, I would go for key rings or stickers to start off with um, and maybe if they do want to continue doing more more of it then you know get them a small diamond painting 30 by 30 30 by 40 but still keep some key rings and stickers available for them to do when they need that quicker gratification um my niece who seven when she was doing some started off with the smaller things like key rings and stickers so she got to enjoy the process um, but then actually got something at the end of it that she could show she completed uh, but then she has since done the likes of some special diamond paintings and she has got some um, that are bigger images um, but she tends to flip about on those a little bit more she moves on and off them uh, primarily because they're not giving her the instant gratification of having it completed because they are you know she 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 just she wants to finish something do you know what i mean they they don't want something to take more than a day should we say time wise um, and then once they get used to it once they get into it when they enjoy the process uh, then larger paintings they'll be happy to do but yeah to give it a go uh, to try it out I would go with a keyring, a sticker, something off the canvas, a bookmark, uh, something like that that won't take them a huge amount of time and can potentially be completed in the day, in a day or in a few hours um, so that they can get that satisfaction kick. And the more they do it, the more they'll be happy to do something that takes longer and feels like a bigger sense of achievement to them but they need to enjoy the process first which to be honest is where a lot of my off the canvas things that I unbox often go so some end up in mystery bags uh, I do mystery bags in the shop that just sort of cover the admin costs um, 
associated with selling stuff on the website um, for diamond paintings and off the canvas things that I've done in unboxings that haven't gone into my stash uh, but a lot of the time they do get passed on to friends family that we know with young kids that want to give it a go um, and key rings and coasters and say stickers and bookmarks and all that sort of stuff are always um, the ones that I reach for to hand over so that people can give it a go. You can get things like dream catchers and ornaments. You can get something that, you know, they as a subject that they enjoy, something that they can show off that they've done as well. Um, and then they can say, the more they get the love for the craft, if they do get the love for the craft, um, then the more they may ask to do the bigger paintings and things like that. But 11 years old is pretty good concentration level, but you want to get them hooked. <laughs> so start small. Uh, mysterious days. Um, oh, she says it made, she felt a little bad saying this. She says, but this video made her lose the game. She says she is internally crying. She says she's lost it three times this week. Um, Anyway, she says she is working through her whips, her whip stash and finishing a purple, blue and pink roses and a butterfly's budget 30 by 40 that she's had on the go for four months now. Uh, she says she's been mentally tired this week. Um, so she hasn't really done any diamond art, she says, and she's missed it. Uh, but she is making great progress on inching towards being able to get her GED. Well, that's something to be happy about, little by little. She says she even got a magic keyboard from Apple. Uh, it's a Bluetooth keyboard, she says, since her laptop is out of order. Um, but her iPad works great for what she needs. She says now just to get the magic mouse so she doesn't have to reach awkwardly to touch the screen. Well, I hope you are feeling better, um, feeling more upbeat than you have been, more upbeat this week, and know that any progress is progress even if it is just a small amount. Right, I do keep nipping into my flowers and things pot while I'm here, dipping for some of those, just so that I, you know, can, can do this section and then concentrate on the roof line and decide whether I am gonna peel any more back. I'm not sure though, because I'm seeing the amount of different symbols in there and thinking, hmm, might be a bit too much to try and squeeze in for today, especially because I'm rolling it back up. So I'll get this done and my next flower one done and I'll have a look. Um, she also says, she says, part two of watching uh, and waking up her brain, she says, to do some diamond art. Uh, she says she only tries to listen while she's diamond painting herself. And she says she has to say Magic Bus by Diamond Art Club is definitely one she is doing more for the process than the image. She said it's like Cosmic Trip where it is fun and it's full of colour. Uh, that she could not say no to buying it when she had a $50 off reward. Um, she had to buy it. Um, she had to buy a gift anyways, and she met free shipping. So yeah, sometimes I purely will get a diamond painting just for the love of the process of doing it, more so than I know where this image is going to go when it's done. Um, but they make me smile while I'm doing them, so 
Supernova from Dreamers Designs is my most recent one of those. I'd have no idea where that would go. It probably will never see a wall, but I will thoroughly enjoy it while I'm doing it. Um, she says, speaking of Cosmic Trip, she said she was able to buy it. She said it is sitting in her closet uh, as a reward for finishing all her other outstanding whips. Uh, there's five budget 30 by 40s uh, and two large Diamond Art Club canvases. So she said it will be a well-deserved reward. I love rewarding yourself for something. I think it's so much fun. Right, I'm getting a few of these. I've got a couple of little single place things here. And they're in the pinks more than the purples. Now they may still appear later on. Let me have a look at that line now I've sort of completed the rest. Okay, no, so none of these are sort of appearing further down. This is sort of purpley and then it goes into brown. So there is a couple of those pinks here. And there is a purple there. So let's pop that paper here. I'm not thinking I'm necessarily going to finish that whole thing. What I'm thinking is there is some pinks, say a couple of pink circles, a couple of those purple equal signs. And none of them are further down than that. No pinks, no purples, it's all browns. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to continue working down on these. But then what I may do is then put this back up and have covered up all the browns, but have just done those odd spots of purple. Just to save me getting out the same diamonds time and time again just to save that little step of the process while we do sort of have a little bit of a, a colour variant going on. Uh, she said, she's also said, she says, what if you make a decision wheel um, of the top five or ten oldest canvases that you own um, and get to use a decision wheel but also do the throwback Thursday sort of concept? I like that idea as well. Maybe doing a decision wheel with just the oldest. Um, I also discussed in my Sunday Whip and Waffle, I am thinking about adding oldest canvas to my decision wheels. So I will add it into large round, large square, small round, small square, into the wheels. So I already have all the actual diamond paintings. Um, and then I have what I call a free square, which basically means I get to pick. So it goes purely on what mood I'm in at the time I'm kitting up a painting. I never have one in my head for that. If it picks it by pure chance, I'll then go, hmm, what, what am I in the mood for doing? Uh, and I'll kit that one up. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of putting oldest canvas in each of my painting style decision wheels. I'm also thinking of creating a decision wheel. Oh, look, there was one of those. Uh, anyway, I'm also thinking, of creating a decision wheel that picks what type of painting I do. So sometimes I could end up with my, because this is my ongoing big project every Thursday. Happy with this, this one is my structured one. Um, but like I'm happy if my decision wheel chose a 30 by 40 round painting two times on the bounce. Um, I'd also be happy if it picked, say, two large paintings 
both weeks on the bounce um, because you know they all I want to do all of them eventually so I'm thinking of having a decision wheel that picks what type of painting I work on so we never know um, I mean I had a plan to work on a large square painting next because I'm working on a large round now that's not that large um, so I feel like going to definitely a, a bigger size square would be a good option but yeah I like the idea of fixing it up as well so I have asked for opinions on Sunday's Whip and Waffle as to what people think but feel free to chime in if you do uh, Sue she says a no buy when you have a YouTube channel is probably impossible uh, yes that's for sure um, I have I have purchased actually I have purchased paintings. I'm just checking this letter I isn't further down. It's not. I've just noticed that the next one that's standing out to me is this letter I. Um, and it is scattered. It's not actually like a full on pink. The H is that's next to it. But this letter I, well, it is a pink, but. I was checking it didn't appear in the browns, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, I have actually purchased, I have purchased a, uh, the new Paint Gem Mini sets is what I've purchased. So I have spent, uh, I knew I would be spending on those anyway, um, at some point, and I don't mind collecting those either. <laughs> But I haven't bought any large paintings yet. Um, but yeah, it can definitely be hard to say. I'm not trying to set myself a goal of never. Because telling myself never is not a good option. Um, because I'll just defy myself. <laughs> I'll defy my own demand um, and, and get some anyway. But yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm doing okay. I've still got a couple of unboxings waiting for the channel, so it's not like the channel is missing out on any unboxings at the moment. I've still got two that will be going into my stash um, that were purchased, that I'm still catching up with from purchases in December, uh, mainly the week in between Christmas and New Year. But, yeah. It is hard with the YouTube channel, but as long as I can keep doing them and seeing it move forward, the better. That's the plan anyway. Right, this is getting very confetti and I am still trying my hardest to stay in this box, in this tray with the letters and the numbers and things. But I will say, I am finding that some of the other ones jump out at me. So I'm going to spread them out while I have the desk space and potentially flip between one or two while I'm in very much of a confetti area that is, um, gets, I'm, I'm definitely more likely to miss some, that's for sure. And we'll see how far we get by just keep going through um, the comments and see how many comments I have. It would be kind of nice to finish up the comments, but we shall see if that can happen. Depends. I need to read out another comment, but I'm also concentrating and very close to finishing this simple. <laughs> get my little, little roof line a going. Um, Nancy says she's enjoying her stash good on you if you enjoy your stash you enjoy it I don't think there is a certain amount of diamond paintings that any particular person should have um, I don't think it should be a matter of you should have x amount or y amount and that's the right amount I think it it's purely 
differentiate dif it's, it's different between one person and the next completely different between one person and the next um, if I had if I decided so for example when I moved in to this craft room if you see my craft room tour my diamond paintings are underneath this table that I'm filming on um, I have a Kallax unit underneath this table in the middle and I have two sort of open sections to either side uh, it's where I used to store things like boxes and extra stock for the shop before it went back to being my craft room um, and when it's become my craft room because uh, when it was my craft room previously I actually had two Kallax units under the desk um, now I actually like the fact that we got rid of one for the benefit of the shop it is actually working for me for my diamond paintings as well because my diamond paintings sit under the right hand side now at the moment under the left hand side is Megan's fold up table um, our easels get folded up and put under there and it actually is holding the diamond paintings that I need to yet unbox. So the two that I need to do videos on are tucked underneath there. Um, but there is nothing stopping me really because the tables and the easels tuck in multiple places. It's amazing where I can tuck things. Um, it's amazing where I can find space for things by just tucking them down the sides of things um, so really the the main benefit for me is to be able to split up the diamond paintings that I've not yet unboxed with the ones that I have unboxed already um, but yeah if if I if I had decided to put all my diamond paintings under both sides and maybe split them between square and round or something then I would have no problems adding more to it more to my stash um, I've only become bothered by it really since I've designated just that one area for them if I had a bigger craft room or a bigger space or a different space for my actual uncompleted diamond paintings to go um, then I would probably have more stash and have zero problem with it um, it's just I've chosen that that is the space where they go um, and I don't want them in more than one place um, I actually don't want I've got space to store some on the top of the bookcases I don't want to be adding some up there um, I want to contain it so it's definitely a personal choice that I've made and it and it works for me or well, I'm hoping it will work for me <laughs> once I've got my stash down I could still lay some on the top so I definitely could still fit more in even by just laying them all down and um, I just like the fact that I can get to them all as well at the moment so I'm still not getting rid of any more without doing them first so I just want I just want a reason to keep working through my stash and diamond paint lots more um Bev she says she loves her new trays pen and cover paper she said she got the leaves pattern I love that leaves pattern I can't wait for I keep tending to match up my cover paper according to the painting I'm working on and what I think really suits the painting that I'm working on um, but that leaves cover paper I absolutely adore I've just not come yet to a sort of softer diamond painting to use it for but I can't wait until I get one that does um, or oh, did I use that I may have used it on one of the paintings uh, I did actually use it on our calendar painting when I did the examples um, 
when we first started printing the cover paper. So before we'd made a cover paper that was the exact size for using on the calendar painting. Um, I did actually use that leaves paper on that. Um, but of course that wasn't on camera because that was just me doing an example of it. Um, but yeah, I, I love that one. It's just, it's just soft and cute. Uh, many people seem to like the bright ones though, which I get why as well, because they are actually the ones I tend to use a lot of the time. And I've gone for this rainbow stars because the painting is so bright. I feel like it matches it. Okay, I think I'm done with that one. I'm very much trying to stay to this roof line a lot now. So I don't end up venturing too much into some of these browns. <coughs> uh, Grey Legrand, she says she's thinking about working on large canvases like hiking the Appala Appalachian Trail. Trail, sorry, the trail is over 2,100 miles, uh, 2,190 miles try not to speak too fast, um, stretching from Georgia to Maine. She says, but you hike it in a series of daily hikes uh, for months. <laughs> she says, that's how she views a large painting. She says, one section at a time and eventually you reach the end uh, and had a ton of fun along the way. Also, she says it helps to switch up your projects um, in size uh, and or shape. So rounds versus squares, uh, she says, are a good mix of confetti or some that are colour blocking. Yes, that's for sure. Um, at the moment, I find that the paintings that I currently have on the go, are a very, very nice mix. They're a good balance. I have on the go at the moment this, 192 colours, confetti, very much confetti. And then I have my koala from Kaiser, which yes, I've only just started, um, but it's a nice mix. This one is squares, koala is round. Um, Koala has um, a pink background that is not full on colour blocking. There is actually three pinks that make up the background colour. But there is a lot more colour blocking than there is on this one. Uh, my Koala is also a lot smaller, so he will be finished quicker. Um, so, yeah, it's a really, really nice balance of the two. I have um, this one that is definitely going to take longer. This is Thursdays are dedicated to my longer projects. But then I have a nice quick one to be able to get another painting, I suppose, tick done off my list um, and a sense of achievement from that by doing my koala in between as well. All right, keep trying to look at which, which one to do next. I think I'm gonna continue working on filling in some of these gaps. I am messing about now between multiple different trays. So I can see them all on this table. So it, it's not, it's actually quite nice to be able to flip between them. Um, but I'm also trying to make sure that I finish in a nice position where I can put the cover paper down and, and have it protected until we continue with it next week. Because we're all doing it. But you can imagine, that is what that is. This is the same. Um, Tiffany, she says, while waiting for uh, her enhancement drills, 
she said uh, she's finished a whip that has been about for months uh, and she started and completed Frenchy Corn, which is a round drill partial painting uh, canvas and she did one section of uh, another whip that's also been a work in progress for a long time she says over a year well well done on finishing some of those outstanding whips that's for sure uh, she says her enhancement drills have finally arrived uh, she started picking off the original DMC drills uh, and replacing them with the enhancement fairy dust drills. She says she can now say that she got the job so she is one step closer to her horse truck. Amazing. She says which for the plan is for that to become a tiny home for her. Um, while also being transport for her horses. She says she has also ordered her Admore Zest limited tray. Um, she wanted to grab a pen, she says, but unfortunately the pen had all sold out. Uh, so she grabbed cover paper sleeves. Yes, the pen went amazingly fast this month. Um, Sometimes we find that the pen will hang about for a week or so and it might be the last thing to go within the month. Uh, but this month it went absolutely crazy. I mean, it's a gorgeous pen. I like all the pens that we get, but I do agree that this one is, I suppose we should have known with the better colours and to be fair to us we did order a few more than we normally would have um, however a lot did turn up damaged so we ended up back to our usual number we only ended up with a couple more than we usually do um, so we did try uh, but unfortunately the transport for them this time or maybe the packaging Either way, it's definitely been better since. Um, was not top form for these pens. So, yeah, we should have known. Um, we are going to see if our uh, if we can get hold of any more. Uh, maybe do a, a little mini run of them one month, just because I know there were quite a few people who did want this pen. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if we can get hold of them anymore. We're not sure. We might have to hunt around our suppliers because we know the original supplier we got them from hasn't got any more. Um, because we did try and get replacements for the damaged ones. Uh, but we're hoping one of our other suppliers will have some. But it's been uh, Chinese New Year. So we need to check with a few of our other suppliers next week uh, when they're all back and fully up and running and see if we can get hold of some. Okay, think I've got all of those. We shall see. Let me just check I've not got any of those. Oh, no. See, I'm doing all right on the colours that I've got here, not actually transporting into those sort of brown colours. So now we play the game between how long the battery will last, how many questions I've got and how far I can get with colours. In fact, this one, there is actually loads of them here, but I think the cover paper is not going to hold too well if I do all of them. So I'm actually going to pause that one for later. I've done the one that I needed for that, but a lot of them go this way. Not just a few, it's a whole scattering. Watch it. I may end up getting it back out again, even this diamond painting session. We'll see. But I am trying to aim a bit more for the purples and filling in these purple bits. Um... Olivia says time flies when you're dotting. 
It certainly does. I often don't realise how much time has passed doing whip and waffles until I'm editing the videos. And I'm like, oh, was it really that many times? I lose track of how many times I may have to save the footage on the memory card. Um, and yeah, one, one whip and waffle that I thought was actually quite short actually turned out to be a lot longer than I thought it was. Uh, because I thought I'd only had to save the memory card twice and it was actually three times so I can definitely get lost especially when I'm doing this one um, I don't know what it is about this one but I can definitely get lost right this is one of those weird symbols found it that could be in any one of my trays uh, it is a line with two circles on either end and it is say it's one of those symbols that have I put it with similar lines have I put it with similar dots um, I don't look at it and go it's an arrow it's a letter it's a keyboard symbol it's a square it's a circle so could have ended up anywhere I do seem to have got a knob on this one so these diamonds actually fit really close together and to be fair they can cope with that little knob being left on but if I do spot it while I've still got the colour out I like to take them out if I've got my tweezers handy. Um, I just think it goes a little bit better. Right see this one I definitely know is half a circle. Uh, Lady Dax says she has finished uh, Oberon she says then she got sidetracked and decided to pull out her square ABs uh, put all her square ABs back into a photo box she says all prettied up uh, she ordered stickers in blue she says but completely forgot to order small bookmarks as dividers she says oh well I'll just have to place another order <laughs> Uh, she says P Jelly and I have a new toy to play with uh, we've just got a ninja air fryer she says are you still liking your one um, yeah the kids absolutely use and abuse that air fryer I mean I'm not a cook in any way shape or form and I will never claim to be um, I do not like cooking never have um, but yeah I think I think Megan would try to move out with it if she ever did. It is constantly in use. It gets used most days uh, for anything from things for tea to chicken dippers to go in a wrap for lunch uh, or chicken goujons to cheesy chips Catherine likes to make in them. Uh, to duck spring rolls for a snack to yeah just absolutely all sorts gets done in the air fryer so uh, it definitely gets used I do apologize there is somebody at the door which is what is sending Luna absolutely loopy she does not like it when there is somebody at the door um Mrs. Tez says she's just got her first Add More Zest tray. She said she absolutely loves it. So glad you're enjoying it. She says she got pink to celebrate the fact that she has fought off breast cancer. Go you. Go you. Well done. Uh, she says she's been watching my Whip and Waffle playlist while working on her own whip. Well, I'm so happy I can keep you company and a very good reason to get pink. It's just confirmation of your achievement and your very big achievement at that. Cher uh, loves orange. She says, well, today a husband tested positive for COVID. She says, and today they were supposed to fly to Asia. To start their big adventure. What a what timing. What timing at all. She says but it's okay. She says as soon as he is well. We are going to do an abbreviated version. She says which will actually be better for them. 
Well, I'm glad there's a positive. Otherwise, he may not have got the attention he deserves while he's ill. And I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> she says, uh, the only bummer is how sick he is. Oh, she says, and unpacking. Unpacking is not pretty. Unpacking's bad enough when you come home from holiday. Never mind unpacking because you never went. Um, I feel your pain there. That's for sure. Right. I need to change the battery in my camera. Which means I have whip and waffled for quite a while. How far? Okay. As I was saying, <laughs> I need to change the battery in my camera. My battery decided to stop. I was trying to see. This will cover over that whole section now. Um, but looking at the colours that I've got to the or a few of the colours that I've got I'm not thinking I'm going to do them all um, I think what I'm going to do because there are a few now that start to spread into this next one um, so this arrow here definitely does um, this dot is a borderline not quite but I reckon it very much could soon I think I'm going to do two more symbols that I can't see in any of the next part and then I'm going to call it done for today so let's see if I can get to the end of the questions while doing that <laughs> Uh, Sue says she's working on Chuck Pitts, Chuck Pinson, uh, a moment on memory lane. She says she's only got two rows left, which I'm sure will be done and dusted by now. It's always nice to finish a painting. Um, Ashley, she says she loves that I went back to fix the symbols I missed. Uh, and then still miss the chevron symbols. She says, made me laugh because she felt the pain. Yeah, I do it all the time. So especially on this sort of painting, um, where it's extremely bitty, and even more so when I uncover a bigger section. It's not been as bad on this one because I am keeping my section a lot smaller. Um, I don't, I'm going to see how this rolls um, sort of this time between now and next week to decide whether I sort of do the same sort of thing and sort of, you know, sort of go with the flow with the sections um, as long as they don't end up like I'm doing a load of diamonds this end and a load of diamonds this end and don't do any in the middle um, to sort of see how I'm going to structure these Thursdays or whether to just go with no, that's my line and I will complete that section. Um, yeah, I'm just going to see how it rolls up and how it manages um, with a few symbols covered and things and we'll take it from there. Uh, Kim says she started her first round painting today. She says she was a bit nervous but she thinks it will be fine. Too early to know she says which she prefers. There's benefits to both. Um, she says, although since most of her stash is squares, she says she better remain faithful to that one. Uh, she says she was alerted to an item that was back in stock at Diamond Art Club. She says, but it was too late. She said, drats. Um, they emailed me about a restock at 2.30 a.m. She says, by the time she saw the email around 1 p.m., she said it was too late. She says, who reads their emails at 2.30 a.m.? You may have found that it was a cancelled order. I know sometimes they do end up sending out um, emails to confirm sort of restocks, which has basically been a cancelled order. Um, so it's only like one of them 
or something so it could have been that but I don't read them at 2 30 a.m either uh, I very much try to keep especially the work emails between work hours and try not to look at them otherwise um, unless there's a huge influx and then I have to look um, she says since she bought some of my launch items she said and would have gladly purchased the diamond art club she says I guess you could see that she's on a no buy too yeah you can't you can't set a no buy in my opinion anyway um Henny says hello Rebecca she says she loves diamond painting along with me while watching listening to the whip and waffle have a great weekend thank you Henny's um Crystal B she says hello Rebecca she says she's just wanted to say she was going to say the same thing about the oldest painting in my stash but add she said that she was going to suggest doing my oldest painting for the June whip and waffle oh that's an idea I'll have to see how big my oldest one is as to whether it'll work because I do like a start to finish in June. Uh, she said, sorry, she hasn't been commenting much lately. She says she's still grieving hubby, but she is watching every video. She says, love to you, your family and her AMZ family. Well, love right back at you, Crystal, and you do not need to apologise at all. Um, grief is different for everybody and I completely understand days of wanting to talk, days of not wanting to talk, all the rest of it. So you look after you. Um, Suze says she uses a cover minder to hold her release paper down when she has too many for the cover paper to stick. That's a good idea. So if you have a piece of cover paper, a bit like what I'm about to do with mine now, um, to put it over, to make sure that all my empty holes are covered. If you find that this isn't sticking, maybe if, if you were trying to stick it just on this part, which sticks but not very well, um, then yeah, use a cover minder to hold the rest of it down. If you've got a good strong magnet on that, that would be even better. But yeah, that is where we are up to for today. We're getting there on the building. We've got quite a bit more of the building side to move down, but then still some more flowers when we get further down. So we will peel back this section next time and then we'll have a look at where we're sort of getting up to here. This looks very similar to last time. There are some that cross over though. So that number six is down here as well. So I may have to just decide, okay, let's give it a section probably there um, and just say right that is in fact I'm going to leave that covered like that for now and go that is what we're doing next week as long as I've still got enough to cover up that bit <laughs> see how it survives but anyway that is the whip and waffle done for this week thank you so much for joining me and for all your comments and questions etc uh, I have got through them all. Uh, it leaves my comments box on YouTube empty for sometimes one day, sometimes less. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.